Having a sense of urgency is absolutely critical if you want to fully and permanently overcome binge eating. It's something that we look for in our clients and if somebody doesn't have that sense of urgency whereby they feel like they absolutely have to address this problem right now and they can't wait another day, then we won't make them an offer. We only make offers to probably about a third of the people that we speak to because it's vital that people come into the program when they're ready. And just because they're not ready right now doesn't mean that they won't be ready in the future. But that sense of urgency is one of those things that tells us that they are ready. Why is that important? Because they need to be absolutely, fully, totally and completely committed to the process. Fully and completely overcoming binge eating requires work, consistent work on yourself because the way that you're going to fix it is through a training process. It's not like the type of therapy where you might just sit back and explore your past and offload on your therapist and then in some sense kind of abdicate responsibility to somebody else who's supposed to fix you for you. The solution is actually training, training completely new ways of thinking, feeling and responding. And that takes an absolute commitment because it's something that you're going to be utilizing all day long, not just in those moments when in the past you may have been tempted to binge, but making sure that you're spotting all of those moments that lead up to a potential binge, right? Because so many people are living all day long in chronic stress and anxiety and low self-esteem and perfectionism and overanalyzing and overthinking and all of that pressure builds and builds and builds and creates this moment when they desperately need a release. Now, can they move through those moments without binge eating? Of course they can, but it's kind of putting them into this intense survival kind of situation emotionally. And uh, it just makes the whole process just infinitely harder. So that's why people are need to be absolutely committed and ready to doing the work, not just when they want to, not just when it's convenient, but any time and every time that they need to, no matter what it takes, no matter how uncomfortable, inconvenient, painful, difficult, scary, whatever, that they step up and they do the work. So what is it that's going to dictate whether somebody steps up with that level of commitment? It's getting to a point where you decide, you know what, I cannot go one more day struggling with this issue. It's costing me everything. It's costing me my happiness. It's costing me my relationships. I'm withdrawing from life. I'm no longer present with my loved ones. I've lost all faith and confidence in myself, in my capabilities. I've stagnated in my career. It's costing me in my finances. I'm wasting money spending emotionally, whether it's shopping or on food. Uh, I'm, I'm not earning as much money as I could be because I'm not pushing my business forward or I'm not progressing in my career, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You get yourself to a point of threshold where you decide I cannot go one more day without doing something comp with complete commitment to fixing this problem. That's it. I'm done. That doesn't mean I cannot go one more day with this problem. It means I cannot go one more day without being absolutely committed to doing whatever it takes because obviously fixing the problem is a process it's not walk in on day one with a problem walk out on day two ta-da fixed all right it's it, it's a process uh it should be quick if it's done right it should be quick it normally takes uh a few weeks for somebody to to fully overcome this problem when it's done right uh so that is lightning fast when you compare it to a lot of the things that people have been trying but it's not overnight um, but when I say I cannot go one more day, what I mean is I cannot go one more day without going all in and taking immediate bold decisive action right now and fully executing on the first step and surging forwards with everything that I've got. If you're not in that state of mind, then you're not going to show up and do the work when it's time to do the work, when you notice urges or cravings or it's time to do some of the other uh, deep work on yourself. You'll make excuses, you'll put it off, you won't bother doing the work. And that's what makes the process really um, just drags it out and just makes it painful for everybody involved. Uh, as opposed to making the process of transformation rapid and powerful. And I'm not going to say easy because overcoming it isn't easy, but so much easier than it would be otherwise. Because you're no longer caught up with this internal battle and kind of going back and forth. Like There's no negotiating with yourself, you just spot when you need to do the work, you step up and you do it. That's only going to happen when you have that sense of urgency. And you're only going to have that sense of urgency when you're fully in touch with what this is already costing you and what it will continue to cost you ongoing into the future. And if you don't have that sense of urgency right now, then my best advice to you is... 
go and get it because you will either have foresight or hindsight. You can either have the wisdom of foresight, which is feeling future pain now, which is where you actually invest the time in, in imagining what life is going to be like, continuing to live with this every single day and stacking all of the ways that this is costing you. So you can either have foresight like that or you can have hindsight, which means you've got to wait until you hit the brick wall that you're headed towards. But hopefully you can have foresight to see the brick wall that you're headed towards and do something about it. Because one of the worst things that people do is that they put it off. They learn to just cope with it and it becomes the new normal. And now there's no sense of urgency. It's the same reason why people get to retirement age and they can't afford to retire because they haven't invested in their pension. They keep putting off. They say, oh, someday I'll get around to it. And when I'm making more money and after this and after that, and before you know it, you know, a few months goes into a few years, goes into a few decades, and oh, I'm a retirement age, and where's my pension fund? Oh, it's not there. I didn't do anything about it. It's the same kind of process that people will go through when they don't actually fully commit to fixing their binge eating because they've kind of learned to cope with it anyway, and it's like, well, what's one more day? What's one more week? What's one more month? What's one more year? Oh, 10 years has gone, have gone by. I thought I would have fixed this by now. That's kind of what happens, and that's why we have to get people to realize that the very process of telling yourself that you'll fix it on your own or it will pass someday or I'll figure it out eventually or at some point I'll get around to addressing this is the very reason why you're still stuck. And until you get that sense of urgency where you decide I cannot go one more day without fixing this issue, then you'll never fix it. And so if hopefully this video has gotten you a sense of self-awareness. Maybe you've, you've, you haven't even realized that that's what you've been doing. That's usually the case. Most people don't even realize that that's what they're doing. But if now you realize that, then hopefully now you, can, you realize that you know what you need to do in order to, uh, to fix this problem is get in touch with what this is costing you now. Realize it's never going to go away on its own until you actually go all in and doing whatever it takes to fix the problem. And if you need help, then you can reach out and let's have a conversation.